Hello, my name is Emily. Thank you for joining me today for some yoga. Today's kids yoga will focus on two things. First, is just having a heart full of thanks. So what are you thankful for? We'll think about that throughout our routine. Second, as the temperature cools down, I tend to eat more. And so I also like to show you some twists because twists help your belly to just digest food or take care of the food a little more easily. Just if you do twists, make sure it's two hours before or after um, eating. So today's routine will start with some hug breaths, namaste song, extend and stretch. We'll do sun salutation, we'll get into some movement, and we'll have our mystery bag. And then let's finish with some breathing and our closing. All right, so let's get into a comfortable seated position, maybe crisscross applesauce or we're on the floor. And let's open our arms wide and let's think about one thing you're thankful for. Deep breath in and give it a big hug. Thank you. Big breath in, maybe something else you're thankful for. Anything else you can think of? So nice. Let's take a big breath in. Hands come up and then down in front of our hearts. Namaste, namaste. This is the way we start our yoga day. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Extend and stretch, extend and stretch. Twist and turn, twist and turn. This is yoga, this is yoga. Let's have fun, let's have fun. <sighs> so many things to be thankful for. Let's see, I'm always thankful for movement. It always makes me feel so good. Can you help me? Will you follow along? Let's get into our sun salutation. So we'll take a big breath in, reaching for the sky. Thank you, sun. Ah, reaching for our toes. Ah, stepping back. Oh, thank you, ground. And then coming into snake pose. Thank you, creatures of all sorts. Let's push back to down dog. Thank you to all sorts of critters and pets. Maybe a dog. <gasps> Maybe a cat. Meow. Maybe the cows that dot our landscape in Vermont. <gasps> Show me your cat. Meow. Here's your cow. One more time. <sighs> now, let's think of some other critters we might see around. Ah. Actually, the other day, I just saw a donkey. Let's come on up. Yee-haw! Yee-haw! Oh, nice! <laughs> it might be a little cold, but we'll pretend we're froggies going for a big, big fly. One, two, three. <gasps> what does a frog say? One, two, three. Ribbit! One, two, three. Ribbit! Oh, now. Let's try something similar, but we'll do a little bit of a change and get some twists in there. <gasps> Let's come into our modified sun salutation, breathing in and breathing out. <sighs> now watch this. I'm going to put one hand on my opposite foot and reach for the sky, looking up towards my hand. <sighs> Now opposite hand to my other foot, reaching up. <sighs> so nice. And let's come down. Oh, oh, so nice. We'll come up into our snake pose. Now for down dog, let's stack it. So show me lifting one leg and then bring it way back as far as you can. Now let's shake out the other tail and bring it around the other side. Ooh. 
so nice. Now coming down onto my hands and knees, I'm also thankful for all sorts of flying critters. So let's flap a wing up. And then I'm going to tuck my wing under my arm. And rest. Flap my wing up and then tuck it under my other wing. <sighs> so nice. <sighs> so doing sun salutation, I thought about all sorts of things that I'm very grateful for, especially living in Vermont where we are. All sorts of animals, all sorts of beautiful things outside our door. Can you tell me, is there anything you're grateful for? Oh, oh yeah. Good idea. Nature. Oh, what else? The sky, the sun, trees. This is great. You totally inspired me. <gasps> hmm. Let's get into our tree pose. Everyone, we're going to pour our weight down. Come up on one foot so your heel can be under your knee or maybe over your knee. Whoa! Well, find what feels good for you. <gasps> Show me your trees. And then here's a little song to go with it. I'm thankful for the trees, I'm thankful for the sun, I'm thankful for the sky, and lots of outdoor fun. <gasps> Such an inspiration. Let's change sides. Again, I pour my weight down and either under my knee or over my knee, whatever feels good for you. What are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? <gasps> I love that you're telling me about what we see outside. Anything else? Oh, oh yeah. Food, for sure. Oh man, I love food too. Let's go, let's do a banana pose. So hands up and we'll lean to one side. Let's do, I'm thankful for some fruit. I'm thankful for some treats. I'm thankful for some bread and very good things to eat. Let's do banana on the other side. What are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? <gasps> Any other ideas? What do you think? Oh, of course. <gasps> Let's do some family and friends. Oh, such good ideas. <gasps> Can you follow along with me? Okay, Let's get into our mountain pose. Hmm. <sighs> I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for my friends, I'm thankful for the love that never seems to end. Let's keep going. What are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? <sighs> Maybe one more time. What are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? So many things. If it's all right with you, I'd love to show you something that I'm grateful for. But I'm always thankful for some help. Can you clap with me? And I'll show you. What's inside the mystery bag, the mystery bag, the mystery bag? What's inside the mystery bag? Tell me, do you know? Any ideas? I promise no bananas in there. Didn't put any trees in there. Ah. Any guesses? Should we take a peek? Let's do it. Oh, 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 I love these. Ready? Not a banana, I promise you. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm thankful for these little critters because each one has a little story. This chicken, 
was with my daughter throughout kindergarten, so she wasn't sad. And this little raccoon was with my son while he was at home all year last year. So I'm thankful for these little critters for helping me out, for being kind to my family. So if you have any little critters that make you feel better, go ahead and grab them. I'm going to hold them close in front of my heart. Now as I breathe in, I'll lift my elbows, lift my chin, and think of something I'm grateful for. Breathe in, give my critters a kiss. You want to try that with me? little guys. They kept my son and daughter, my, son, no, my daughter and my son, great company. All right, we're going to take it down a little bit with our critters, with our, with our friends. Let's come into a comfortable position on our back. I'd like to show you one more twist so maybe our critters can help. So we'll put our critters in one hand and bring them out. And then I'm going to drop my feet in the opposite direction. My knees are dropping towards the wall while my hands stretching towards you. And my face is pointing towards you. <sighs> Looking at my little critters, actually. <sighs> Great, now let's come on up and we'll put our critters on the opposite side. <clears throat> now my knees are gonna fall towards you and my face will go towards my little critters. Hi, guys. <sighs> now when you're ready, we'll bring our knees to the sky, sliding our feet out, and let's come into Shavasana. Just totally relax here. Maybe your critters are on your belly. <sighs> And this way, when you breathe, you can feel them or even see them lifting. Or maybe they're close to your heart. Let's take a few moments to just relax here in this position. Hmm, that felt great. I'm always glad to have a chance to relax. Let's come into a comfortable seated position and crisscross applesauce. We'll keep our critters close by, maybe in our laps. Thank you for joining me today for some twists and for things that you're grateful for. Let's take a deep breath in. Bring our hands over our head and in front of our hearts. Namaste, namaste, this is the way we end our yoga day. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.